Hi, welcome to Sound Devices TV. Stay tuned to our channel for news and demos of new products, as well as technical advice to help you decide on the right gear for your needs. And what better way to start than by introducing the highly anticipated Nucleus Control Surface by Solid State Logic. The Nucleus is the newest release in SSL's line of products aimed at professional and semi-pro DAWs or digital audio workstations. Based on the same technology as SSL's Matrix, Control Surface and Super Analog inline mixer, the Nucleus boasts an amazing feature set for a fraction of the price. The Nucleus is primarily a control surface which connects to your Mac or Windows-based computer via Ethernet. Unlike many other motorized fader control surfaces currently on the market, the Nucleus comes standard with 16 touch-sensitive motorized faders. These can be addressed and shifted as two separate banks of 8 or as a bank of 16. The left-hand backlit LCD screen typically displays track names, currently addressed mixer functions and parameter values. The right-hand screen can either show similar information or can be switched to display DAW or user-specific functions and shortcuts. Each channel strip includes four backlit buttons that control channel selection, channel solo, channel cut, and a DAW or user assignable function. The pan pot encoders also act as a button which can be used to activate channel input monitoring. By toggling the REC button in the Nucleus Master section, channel select buttons switch function to become channel record arm buttons. The Nucleus uses either Mackie Huey or Mackie Control protocols to address up to three DAW applications concurrently. Application switching is controlled by two dedicated buttons in the master section. Network connectivity even makes it possible to divide the nucleus so that the two fader banks address two separate DAWs simultaneously. The nucleus includes an on-screen management software which allows you to configure its extended control functions to suit your needs. The control panel includes preset templates for a number of leading digital audio workstations. It automatically chooses the most appropriate Mackie protocol for the application. However, if you want to use the Nucleus for an unlisted application that doesn't support Mackie protocols, a MIDI CC template can also be chosen allowing a totally personalized configuration through MIDI Learn in the DAW. Another part of the Nucleus extended features is its ability to assign DAW specific functions to the buttons above the LCDs. The eight buttons on the left hand bank have pre-assigned functions which apply to every DAW template, but all functions are reassignable if necessary. The right hand bank of eight buttons are blank by default and are available for any function you wish to assign them to. In addition to this, the right-hand bank includes a second and third layer of assignable functions accessible through the User 1 and User 2 toggling buttons in the Nucleus Master section. Like the SSL matrix, the Nucleus has the ability to temporarily flip the current rotary encoder function to the fader on the same channel. This allows automation and mix changes to be controlled by fader rides instead of by rotary encoders. Another feature of the Nucleus, seldom seen on any Mackie protocol-based control surface, is dedicated channel metering. On other controllers, metering is generally shown on the LCD, if at all. Each channel of the Nucleus includes a 10-segment peak meter, as well as a record arm status light. The transport and navigation section of the Nucleus includes robust backlit buttons, a switchable jog shuttle wheel, and four arrow buttons that can either navigate the mixer or project windows in the DAW, or be reassigned to control zoom in and out. Also included in the master section are a number of modifier and macro buttons designed to keep your hands away from your mouse and keyboard. As a control surface alone, the Nucleus has an outstanding feature set, but it isn't just a control surface. The Nucleus also includes an audio input-output section with two SSL Super Analog mic preamps. The preamp stages each offer 75 dB of gain, 48 volt phantom power, phase reverse, pad, and bass roll-off, as well as high Z for instrument input. Following the preamps are a balanced send return stage for both channels. To make these functions even more DAW friendly, Analog inputs feed into high-quality 24-bit 192kHz analog-to-digital converters and are then bused to the computer via the Nucleus internal USB audio interface. The audio interface also carries a pair of separately addressable channels to and from the SPDIF connectors on the rear of the Nucleus. 
On screen, the Nucleus audio panel gives control of DAW independent, low latency direct monitoring. As part of the audio function, the Nucleus has a pair of balanced XLR connectors to output to monitor speakers, controlled by an analog volume knob in the Nucleus master section. The Nucleus also includes two headphone outputs and a pair of unbalanced consumer level outs on RCA connectors. Four additional Type-A USB ports on the back panel make the Nucleus a USB hub so that devices such as keyboard and mouse, MIDI keyboards or dongles can be connected locally. Finally, a function assignable footswitch and an SD card slot for storing project and template information, padded palm rest and robust, sleek and sensible design round out the Nucleus amazing feature set. The Nucleus retails at $5,999 Australian. But to add even more value, SSL have also bundled their new Doende Native Essentials effects bundle. So, to put this into perspective against other products, you could either have one of these, one of these, two of these, one of these, one of these, and one of these. Or you could have one of these. The Nucleus is available to demo or buy in store now at Sound Devices.